Edward Hopper, the US artist, he once said, um, if we could say it with words, we wouldn't need art. Now that's a very interesting statement coming from an artist. And his art, Edward Hep Hopper's art, is one which speaks very, very eloquently, more eloquently than you could use words to describe, say, human loneliness. Well, I know a woman whose husband cheated on her, uh, and she painted a piece of art which shows a forest and a light at the other end of it. The forest is dark, and light at the other end. And the husband who cheated on her realized that this was expressing the state of her heart and her feelings. Bonhoeffer said, I have learned to regard people more in the light of what they have suffered than in the light of what they have done. And I think there's a lot in that. If I can think of the person in front of me as someone who is vulnerable, who has had experiences that I don't know about, who brings with them a past and often a suffering past. If I can think in that way, I'll relate more easily because our, so many of our relationships are attempts to impress people or to dominate people. Um, but if instead I think this person in front of me doesn't just bring their face and their presence, they bring a whole past with them, often unknown to me. I think if I begin like that, I can begin to relate to people in a more genuine, deeper, more loving way. To be free as a human being is to be what I'm meant to be. And if I'm meant to love, that is where my freedom is. So the freedom of fish lies in what being in water. Water does not confine a fish. It is not a boundary for a fish. In one sense, of course it is. But if it tries to escape from that, it loses its freedom as well. It is experienced as a, something which binds us um, only because our love is not deep enough, not pure enough, not great enough. Certainly in my case, and many people would say the same.